pops up on computer screens in Kenya has many educators and parents worried. They say the internet has the potential to exploit Kenya's young people if not properly managed. Alarm bells went off for high school principal Joan Muoti shortly after her daughter signed up for the popular social networking site Facebook. Somebody in invited her in the Facebook and they kept on chatting, chatting and then one time he says I'm coming, I'll be coming to, Af to Kenya and I would like to meet you. Muoti says she felt uncomfortable about a stranger wanting to meet her child. Other parents have similar worries and children in Africa may be particularly at risk. Mark Matunga is the Education and Citizenship Program Manager with Microsoft East Africa Limited. Because of the level of poverty and the being told that, hey, you know what, um, I can send you a few dollars, I can come and visit you, I can buy you a ticket, you come to my country. I mean, those are some of very inviting conversations that a child, an African child, can begin to have with somebody in the West unsuspecting that this person in the world could just basically be preying uh, on them. <laughs> Matunga says what also makes African children vulnerable is that their parents and teachers typically are not knowledgeable about internet technology. And there are other potential dangers such as cyberbullying and pornography. So Microsoft East Africa Limited, the Kenyan government, and the advocacy group the Cradle Children's Foundation have teamed up to inform parents and protect children against internet abuse. Brian Weke is the foundation's program manager. The internet is taking over, shaping uh, the character of our children. So that is the basis of, 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 of this project. We want to just raise awareness, uh, so as parents to be able to understand the dangers children are actually going through, then they can actually guide um, their children uh, in relation to accessing the net. The program consists of establishing parameters that parents can use to block certain websites, computer games and search terms. Organizers also conduct information sessions to teach parents about how to use the internet safely. Again, Microsoft's Mark Matunga. Anything that you put online is, is permanent on some of these social networks. Somebody can easily take that photo of your child and manipulate it in whatever way that they want. Matunga says Microsoft, the Children's Foundation and the Kenyan government are working hard to educate parents, teachers and businesses on how best to protect Kenya's young from internet abuse. Kathy Maitney for VOA News, Nairobi.